What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp and today we are going to be reviewing this Ruger Security 6. So let's get right into this review. So, like I said before the intro rolled, we are going to be reviewing this Ruger Security 6. And you might be thinking if you're n or not new to the channel and you've been around here for a while, why is Elliot at the desk for a pistol review? Um, I'm going to be starting moving all of my reviews to at least the desk for some point. So you'll see range time and you'll see desk time. Um, I'm starting to push away from kind of the whole range review, like doing everything at the range. I, I think it's more professional to kind of bounce back and forth, honestly. Uh, I think the uh, the desk gives me a better setting and allows me to really draw in attention where the range can be kind of all over the place. So, then now that I got that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about this pistol. So this is the Ruger Security 6. This is chambered in 357 and has the 6 inch barrel. Ruger made these pistols in from the 70s to the 80s and I think there was two other variants of this pistol, um, the Service 6 and the Speed 6. The Service 6, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure someone will, had, they, they both had, they all had like subtle little differences, but I think the main difference was barrel length, um, and some small things to do with grips and stuff, but for the most part, the Service 6 was mainly a marketing ploy, and, um, they had the two and the four inch barrels and the Speed 6 had the smaller three inch barrels. This or er, Security 6 right here has a uh, six inch barrel so it's it's the longer barrel and honestly I think it, it has the best look out of all of them. Um, I'm not usually a super big fan of long barreled pistols but something about this one just I don't know I just I think I think it's unique it's cool it's it's different um, if that makes any sense whatsoever so yeah um, quick disclaimer before we really get into it this is not going to be the most in-depth review ever of this pistol this I've not shot this pistol a thousand times okay um, this was lent out to the channel and the goal of it was to just give you my opinion on shooting it I'm your everyday guy so that's kind of the goal here and just to inform you a little bit about it um, so let's get right into it. grips on this thing sweet um, dark wood grips you can buy replacements for them um, they come in a thousand different variants of colors um, these just had to be happen to be the wooden color or the wooden grips um, and then you have your black uh, frame or not frame your your main part of the pistol I'm at a loss for words so Please excuse that. This is a double action pistol, so double action, you can cock the hammer back and you can shoot it, or you can pull the hammer back. Um, one thing I have to note about this double action pistol, and this doesn't carry through for all the double action pistols, but this one does, it has a very light trigger, uh, or I guess light, light's the correct word. Um, very nice. I honestly like it. When I was at the range shooting this thing, um, I I was honestly amazed by it. I thought it had the smoothest, lightest trigger for a revolver I think I've ever shot. And it feels great. So, that is up front, just being honest with you. So the trigger is fantastic. Um, as the name implies, Security 6, it holds 6. This is chambered in 357. Um, they have 38 special and a whole slew of other calibers. Um, but I, th I think the 38 and the 357 were probably the most popular ones out there in their production time. I think I saw a stat that they made well over a million of these things. So I'm sure there was a good variety of all of them, but I think the majority of them were 357 and 38. Uh, and yes, I'm very well aware you could shoot 38 and 357. So, moving on. Um, while taking, just going straight into uh, the range, while taking it to the range, 
I shot quite a bit with it. It was super good, good time. Um, the thing is accurate, at least as far as the pistol range that I go to. Um, it only lets you shoot like 15 or 20 yards. They got a bunch of still out there, and that's what I did. I took it to the range, and I just dinged still with it for an afternoon and had a blast. Um, in terms of practical use for this thing, why, why would you buy this Ruger? Um, biggest reason, probably self-defense. Um, if you want to carry this thing, this one might be a little bit big to carry, but the shorter barreled ones probably might be more manageable. Um, better to conceal, better to um, keep on you, but a 357 or a 38 is going to do a pretty good job for self-defense. It's done a good job for a long time. These were issued to law enforcement service members. Like I said, the Service 6 was kind of marketed towards law enforcement and uh, military. That, that's why the Service 6 was made, the variant of this. And um, so it definitely does its job in terms of protection in terms of stopping power, in terms of reliability. So that's one reason you might want it. Another reason you might want it, like always, is just having fun. Like I did, I just took it to the range, shot it a bunch, and it was a blast. It didn't hurt. It didn't, there was no, like, obnoxious recoil. Um, any, I, I would say anybody can shoot it. That's what I meant by it didn't hurt. I don't, like, there was no recoil. It was just fun to shoot. It was a blast. Some pistols that I've shot, usually lighter pistols, can have some recoil. So, I mean, obviously I know it comes with shooting, so you don't have to comment that down below. But it is something to keep in mind. I wouldn't feel bad about letting really anybody shoot this thing. Because of just how comfortable it was to shoot. So, And then the third one, probably on top of self-defense, probably be a good, like, I want to say like a farm pistol, you know, like you carry around the farm. Um, it would definitely take care of anything you'd have problems with raccoons, snakes, um, you'd blow the crap out of a rabbit, but I mean, hopefully you didn't want the rabbit afterwards. But it would do all the jobs that you would need it to do in terms of being a good little tractor pistol or truck pistol, something to carry around the farm to make sure you have no problems with anything. Um, maybe like a I don't know. I was going to say, like, have a bear come up on you or a coat, but I don't think that's too big of a problem. Uh, maybe in some other states, but usually Virginia's wildlife's pretty timid. But you never know. So that, that would be another very good reason to own and carry this pistol. All right. Um, in terms of what I recommend it, yes, I'd recommend it. Usually these older pistols are fantastic pistols. They... The quality back then was amazing, and um, it, it's hard to find. I, it's, it's terrible to say, but like usually the older stuff is usually the best stuff, and that sucks to say. But but I find it true, um, especially like revolvers and pistols, and just in general, unless you're spending crazy money now, um, you just don't get the quality you used to get. And these pistols are really good quality. They're great. So I'd definitely say pick one up if you have the opportunity to. I didn't price check this Ruger before getting on here. Shame on me um, for talking about it and not knowing the price. But feel free to comment if you got a good updated price on one of these things and how much they go for now in Gunbroker or wherever you find them at. Um, I, usually, I usually do Gunbroker. It's usually where I do my research. Comment down below if you know any place else to do like stuff like that research um, but yeah so comment whether or not you found the video useful comment suggestions all that I read it all I remember it all and I appreciate everybody that does comment whether it's a bad comment or a good comment at least it's a comment um, I hear feedback and I try to learn from it you don't know how much I try to learn from feedback so uh, who comment you'd be surprised what happens all right like and subscribe if you found the video informative and i really appreciate every single one of y'all i will catch y'all next time as always take someone outdoors